Hi, this is George from eAccess Solutions Tech Support. We're going to talk a little bit of it today about how to maximize the free space on your BlackBerry smartphone. We all enjoy the wide variety of applications that your BlackBerry device supports, but if they start running low on available memory, the devices can become very sluggish and you will frequently see the hourglass as your icon as you're uh, doing something causing you to wait. This video will demonstrate a number of ways to maximize the free space on your BlackBerry smartphone. So let's begin by just checking to see how much available memory you have. We're going to go to the options icon, typically a wrench. We're going to click on status and it'll show the amount of files free or the free uh, space here on the device. Right now we actually have a reasonable amount. But if that number starts getting really low, your device will become very sluggish and will definitely slow down a lot. So let's talk about some ways to free up some space. You can begin by removing unnecessary items. One way to do this is to go to the setup icon and actually run the setup wizard. One of the first things you can do is choose the language that you're going to use, and we'll, in our case we'll, use, we'll choose English, and let that run through. And what that will eventually do is that will actually free up uh, some space because it will remove any unnecessary language packs that might be installed on your BlackBerry device. The next thing you want to do is go to the options icon again and then we want to go to applications. Now if you see applications on the main menu, choose it. If you don't, choose advanced options and then choose applications. it will build an application list. Go down and choose any, any languages you might find here or uh, programs that you seldom use. For example, games such as Brick Breaker or some of the other games that might be on here or other applications like Help that you may not use that frequently. Once you've done that, you could also try rebooting the BlackBerry to see if that makes any difference. Um, you can also minimize the number of contacts stored in your address book. And if you're on a BlackBerry Enterprise server, you can also use the lookup feature so that you can only keep the addresses you use frequently on your BlackBerry and look up the ones that you don't use frequently. You could also delete old items from your message folder. So we're going to go to the message folder. We'll go to the top of that list. And you can simply scroll down to a date where you may have uh, older messages. And again, once you get there, just click the menu key and then choose Delete Prior. What this will do is delete any prior items prior to the date band that you've chosen. And it does that without synchronizing those changes back to your email source. So it won't remove them from your source file. The next thing you can do is go into your messages again click the menu key and type the letter O and choose options. Go into general options and you can go down and you can try to change your email settings down toward the bottom here there's a couple of items that are important. Keep messages for we're going to limit that to say 15 days as opposed to forever for example and you can also go into the auto more. What, what that does by turning that feature off it will save you from automatically downloading the whole content of an email. Maybe you only need part of the email or only want to look at part of the email. So this will again save some space. Another thing you can do that's very important is go into your SMS or text messages and use that feature or go in there and also delete those that you don't need. Especially your MMS messages which is your multimedia messages. Those can contain a huge amount of text. I mean, a huge amount of data I should say. Um, another thing you can do is clear the device log. The way you do that is kind of a trick. You start from the home screen, you hold the Alt key, and you type the letters LG, LG, and that brings up the event log. If you hit the menu key, you can clear the log, and then by doing that, you can verify the deletion, and this will clear out a lot of the information that the BlackBerry stores on a routine basis that you may not need. You can also clear the browser cache. So to do that, we'll go into the browser, We'll hit the menu key and go down to options and we'll click on cache operations and again you can clear your history and your cookies and your pushed content. Again these things will all help save space. We can also invoke a uh, feature called memory compression and the way you would do that is go into your options icon and depending on your software uh, you probably would want to click on security options, general settings, and you may see the content compression in this case has already been enabled. If it's disabled, go ahead and enable it 
and then save that change. What that will do is that will cause the BlackBerry to compress all the data that's on there and make it more efficient in terms of space. However, it will slow the BlackBerry down a little bit. You can also go to your phone application by hitting the green key, hit the menu key and go to type letter O and go to options again. Click on your general options, I'm sorry, uh, call logging rather. And what you want to do is log, instead of logging all calls, which will take up more space, just click on missed calls and only log those so you can see any calls that you might have missed. Okay. We're now going to take a look at another uh, thing that you can do, and that is to use a media card. So for that, we're going to switch to a little bit newer operating system on this BlackBerry here. Um, what you want to do is go down to the camera application. So we'll go down to the camera, click on that. Then you're going to click your menu key, and we're going to choose, since we've installed a memory card, we're going to go into options here, and we're going to tell it to store those pictures on the media card rather than on the BlackBerry itself. So by choosing um, on media card rather than in device memory, you're obviously going to save a lot of space. So that's another thing you can do. And if we go to the media application itself, Again, this depends a little bit about on the exact version of software you're using. But if you hit the menu key and go to options, you can choose the amount of you can choose the device memory limit. In other words, the amount of data that's going to be stored on the device. In this case, it's a fairly high number, but you can choose a lower number so that you reserve less space for that. You can also do the same thing for the um, picture memory and, and reduce the amount of size that's, that's stored here in picture memory for, that's reserved. Finally, if you're using one of the newer Blackberries with an, a newer operating system and you go into the memory use option, it'll actually show you, it'll scan the memory and actually show you a very cool looking graphic that shows the amount of um, uh, data that's being stored on both your memory card and the device memory. If you click details, it'll give you a nice breakdown. So you have an idea of how much data is being stored in which type of media. So again, this is, this is available beginning, I believe, with Operating System 5. The last thing you want to do is when you're all done, just simply do a reboot. Uh, pull the battery out and just let it reboot. And this way, uh, any applications or memory leakage that may have occurred will get corrected and hopefully your memory will be freed up. Um, another way you can do that if you don't want to choose to pull the battery is you can do what's called a, an Alt Shift Delete. So it's basically on the BlackBerry you'd hold the Alt key and the right shift key with your with the one hand, the fingers on your one hand, and then just poke the delete key a few times. And if you do it just right, it should get your device to reset. So hopefully these suggestions will help you reduce the amount of memory that you're using on your BlackBerry and keep it running smoother and faster. For more information, please visit www.eaccess.com or www.wirelessbyeaccess.com.